On all nine so far, can he maintain that winning run? He admits he was a little bit starstruck at going in with uh, Floyd Mayweather. Doesn't want to get uh, lackadaisical tonight, though, and he's no. uh, just uh, announced his uh, arrival in the ring, McCauley, by landing that right over the top. Uh, followed by a sweeping left hook, so uh, Amir has started off once or twice in his career very lustered. I've been impressed with him in his last couple of fights, though, because he's been really, you know, pretty much all together. Caught again by a left-hand lead from McCauley. Ian John Lewis, the referee. I am the referee, as he tells them emphatically. Wondered who you were, that guy in the ring with a bow tie on and the white shirt. Well, you know, when you spar world champions, it normally helps you to raise your game. And I'm a little bit surprised that Amir has been hit as easily as he has been so far. Went out to Las Vegas with James DeGale. Two of them old uh, amateur partners and know each other well. Mayweather decided he didn't want to go in the ring with DeGale, took a look at him and thought, yeah, maybe, a bit big. <laughs> but it was interesting, I was reading that interview in uh, Boxing News, and it's on the Boxing News website as well, talking about how impressed Amira was with the preparation that uh, Floyd Mayweather goes through. He said he has such dedication, and he says he has a hunger like a contender. Well, how can you not? I mean, he's a, he's a modern-day legend, a five-weight undefeated world champion. Speaks for itself uh, where he gets his desire from, as he calls himself Money Mayweather. He's beyond me, but he gets it nonetheless. But back to Amira, who I think is definitely, almost certainly this round, knows he's in a fight. Yeah, McCauley started pretty well, hasn't he? He's caught him with a few shots. He's only won one of his last seven. He's normally a durable tight. His 15th professional fight. And now looking to try and stand tall, try and spear him with his jab, but in doing so, he's just leaving himself open to the overhand right from McCauley. Going. Yeah, I give the first round to McCauley. He was busier, took less shots in return, landed the cleaner shots, certainly, so he'll be full of confidence going into the second round. As I said before, McCauley, uh, Amira has started lacklustered in fights before and gradually cranked it up as the fight's gone on. He's only got six rounds, well, he's got another five to complete, so he's got to tuck his chin down. He's just carrying it much too high tonight for whatever the reason. Vegas to the rather more prosaic surroundings of Watford. He's got to get to, get to work here at Steve O'Meara. McCauley really loading up on these punches. He really fancies it right now. O'Meara just allowing him or giving him enough room to get his punches off. Probably by Amira's own admission, he's not a he's not a, a one-punch concussive knockout artist. But what he trades on is durability, stamina, and relative speed, which, which he seems to be struggling with right now. Joining us, a reminder that the main event, John O'Donnell 
against Tom Glover is still to come. Amir well, needs to shorten these punches. Uh, they're going over the top of McCauley's head. He needs to start putting the, pulling the punches in tighter because he's missing the target area. Still growing in confidence. Wait! And there's blood now coming from the nose of O'Meara. Taking him far too many shots. going in close and the referee having a close look blood I think coming from the left nostril of O'Meara it's Vegas last week and he's fighting like a man who's got a bit of jet lag well there's always that John I mean you know you can put whatever spin on you want on this one but the truth is I've got McCauley winning in the first two rounds surprisingly so but nonetheless I think he's winning this fight I know from experience, when you uh, do that long journey, they reckon a, a day for every hour's time difference to get it out of your system, and it's an eight-hour time difference. Well, I've done the trip many a time before in my own career, uh, obviously being managed by Mickey Duff. We spoke about Bose Redwoods being the connection for Jim McDonald, a box on a few of his undercards, travel to Las Vegas, and sure, it, it takes a lot of your, out of your legs. But that's when you're fighting for a 12-round fight. Sure. McCauley, remember, though, to put it into perspective, was taken out in two rounds by Lee Purdy in his last fight. Chance got for Steve-O, Steve-O for O'Meara, trying to get the man to raise his performance. Yeah, Jim McDonnell in the background telling his man to get closer, getting close. But that's all got to come off the jab. And that's normally what, what Amira does. He employs a reasonably good jab. As I said before, we've seen it in his last couple of fights. He's changed his tactics, got out the starting blocks early, used the jab, worked his way in, and that's what's brought him the, the success previously. However, tonight, we're not seeing that. Nothing too unorthodox, unorthodox about Kevin McCauley, is there? Oh, he's pretty much up and down. There's a good right hand and a left hook from McCauley. Yeah, absolutely. Caught Amir as he came in with that left hand. That stopped him absolutely dead. There's something missing from uh, Amira tonight, make no mistake about that. He's much better, normally, uh, O'Meara, offensively. He normally puts his punches together in nice little bunches. Uh, we normally see a nice snappier jab. He hasn't got his jab going, Juice, just, that's it, the key, it, isn't I it? don't think he's landed one. That, that's been his best attack of the whole fight. Could, remember, could you just imagine somebody with a 